This is Croft Circuit in Darlington, North East England. It's 2.1 miles in length and is a fast flowing track that's no stranger to hosting big events. It's somewhere I've competed at twice before and a circuit I really enjoy driving at. I'm Alex Bones and we're here for a double header race weekend for round six and seven of the UK Time Attack Championship. Today is round six and tomorrow is round seven. So this presents a unique challenge. Two separate races in two days. Each day counts as an individual event in terms of championship points. All things being equal, I'd expect to go faster tomorrow after getting dialed in today. But we'll see because, well, this is racing. I drove here last year in this championship in my Evo 5 RS and was lucky enough to set a new Clubman Plus lap record of 131.9. If you've followed our progress so far this season, you'll know that I've driven the blue Evo 9 GT for the first three rounds of this championship at Cadwell, Snetterton and Brands Hatch. Then, due to the engine issues we experienced at Brands, I drove Wayne Hodgson's Evo 6 RS for round four at Donington and round five at Alton Park while the 9GT was in safe hands being reassembled by Wayne and the WK team. Well, the 9GT is back and she's bigger, badder and angrier than ever before. Recipient of several upgrades, a power hike and some aero in the shape of a front splitter and larger APR rear wing, as well as lots of other tweaks and changes to aid reliability and cooling. It's been almost a year since I've driven here. This car is almost twice as powerful as my 5RS that I drove here last time. So the morning sessions were valuable to modify braking and corner entry speeds accordingly. This car really is quick. In qualifying, I set a best lap time of 1 minute 30, 449, with the car on the mid boost setting. That was the optimum lap time in accordance with the TSL data but with the boost wound up for the final session of the day, I was hopeful of going even quicker. I did manage to go faster in the final, a lower 1 minute 30, but the lap was unfortunately disallowed due to exceeding track limits, meaning another of my laps of 131.017 would count. Still, that was good enough for second place in the day, with Joseph in his JC Subaru taking the win with a 130.3 and Matt in the JDS Evo taking third. Today has been an awesome day's racing and with today's track knowledge under our belt I'm hopeful that it might be possible to go even quicker tomorrow for round seven. So this is round seven and with a more relaxed midday start it was a great opportunity for the organizers of the series to get all of the cars competing out onto the track for a group shot. 
For anyone not familiar with Time Attack, the format is very straightforward. There are several classes, all divided up based on car spec and modifications. It's a series that caters for everyone, right the way from a road spec car in Clubman class through to 1,000 horsepower Pro Extreme cars. You get four 15 to 20 minute sessions at each race round. Warm up and practice in the morning where lap times are recorded but no points count, and then qualifying in the afternoon with half points on offer and then the final session with full points. It's not about the number of laps you complete, it's simply about recording the fastest possible single lap within your respective class. The main straight here is fast, somewhere around 130 miles an hour, then into Clairvaux, Hawthorne Bend and the Chicane before another fast straight down into Tower. Then some serious balls are required through the Jim Clark S's and on to Barcroft before the sweeping hairpin at Sunny and back down the fast straight and into Complex. Then there's the very tight hairpin and back up the start finish straight to complete the lap. The circuit rewards both agile handling and power. This time of 130.631 was promising in qualifying, but Ben Alvarez in the JDS Evo got down into the 1 minute 29, setting a new standard and a new class lap record in the process. A 130.479 lap in the final was good for third, but was unfortunately disqualified due to me exceeding track limits. However, we did win the award for best presented car, which topped off an absolutely awesome weekend racing. There's no doubt that we've come a long way with this car this season and it's been a huge learning experience for us all as a team. We'll see you at Rockingham for round eight on October the 15th, which is the grand final of this year's Time Attack Championship. Check me out on Instagram, alex.r.bones for more images of the car. See you next time. It's up to you. Your love is not